Well, music can definitely speak uh, some folks into a way that nothing else can as well. A diversity professional and forester, Dr. Thomas Rashid Easley, is using his love of hip-hop and forestry uh, to bring some things together in uh, draw attention to the environment. Take a listen. Here is my minority report Come on. about what's going on with the poor. Yes. No clean water, got liquor stores. No banks, good housing, can't afford. Got drugs, got guns, got mm-hmm. dope boys, no books, gym floors. Mm-hmm. Dead pools, can't swim and live my pores. Contaminated, mentally challenged, I'm sore. Uh-huh. Now let's bring in Dr. Easley, also known as uh, Rashid Ease. He's joining us now live this morning. Let's talk about this. And we heard some of your music here. So how are you using uh, your music, hip hop, to bridge the gap between uh, music fans and uh, people getting aware of the environment? Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, good, good to talk to you. Uh, really, I think just speaking from a, pl- a place of passion, also a place of intelligence, and then just sharing it in a way that people will understand what it is that we're talking about. Some may say air quality. We'll talk about asthma. Some may say minority, you know, but then I'm still going to talk about our community, people of color, you know, various identities as a whole. But I think that because of the way that we address it, then people can identify with it and feel more comfortable digesting it. And so that's what we're doing. So uh, how have ha, has your music and this theme, uh, what's the reaction to it? Well, at first, I think it was, I'll, I'll admit, it was quiet, it was calm, because <laughs> I don't think people are accustomed to hearing uh, music like uh, music about forestry as well as bridging hip-hop, but now we're starting to pick up. I think as climate change is continuing to become or stay uh, like a top top issue, top priority for us as a country and the world to address, and then I also think around issues of environmental justice, or I should say environmental injustice, which we infuse in, in our music, now I think that the, uh, the the interest is continuing to grow and get bigger now. So let's talk about the importance of the connection between uh, music, hip hop, as well as uh, environmental awareness. Sure. Well, I think that music, you know, art speaks about the everyone's reality. Sometimes art can influence reality, but I think that my art in particular is influenced by reality. So we like to speak about what is going on. We like to speak in ways that multiple communities will talk about it. So that's why we'll use various terms uh, in our music and sometimes even use terms not in, the, in an offensive way, but that another community may, you know, may be unaware of or, okay, you know, why did you say that? But the whole hope is really to bring people together and then talking about the environment because we're all touched by it. We all live in the environment. So there you go. And real real quick, we have about 10 seconds left. Where can people find your music? You can find me at RashadEasley.com, R-A-S-H-A-D, Easley.com. All right, great information. That's Dr. Thomas Rashad Easley uh, with Hip Hop and the Environmental Message. Thanks for joining us this morning.